I was teaching them about uh, the solar eclipse and how the moon, earth, and the sun line up together, creating a shadow on the earth. Seventh graders at Riverside School in Cleveland spent a day teaching their second grade peers about April 8th's total solar eclipse. It's going to go completely dark for like, uh, like, about like four three, minutes. Like and four a half. minutes. It's on April 8th. It's like when the moon like goes around the, like the earth, so it becomes dark, I think, yeah. Cleveland will get nearly four minutes of darkness, and the city is preparing with a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame playlist, a watch party at the baseball stadium, and more. But schools are preparing for the big moment with special lessons. Cleveland is very boring. Like, there's nothing that really be happening out here. So, like, for the solar eclipse to be here, it's like, and a whole bunch of people are coming, it's like something new. Um, it's gonna, like, in the afternoon, it's gonna be really dark. Students built eclipse models. They created drums, learning about how some cultures beat on the instrument during an eclipse. And they designed their own glasses. Can you see me, Jojo? Are you sure? Let me see. I was really honestly so pleased with them because I saw a lot of kids who normally don't say too much really connecting and able to explain it at a term for the younger ones. And when you're able to, once you teach it is when you know it. To finish out the lesson, second graders got to test out their glasses, scare away the darkness with their drums, and celebrate their upcoming day off from school on April 8th. Patrick Orsagas, Associated Press, in Cleveland, Ohio.